morning friends it's coach sarah here with simply cooking with coach sarah i am so excited you're here today and if you are new to my channel welcome this is where we cook all things low carb we cook healthy carbs this is where like keto meets healthy carbohydrates and i want to help you break free from sugar and so today i am going to be showing you guys how to make low carb white chocolate macadamia nut cookies and I hope some of you guys will be cooking along with me. It'll be very fun. If you're joining me live, be sure to say hi so I know that you're here with me. And uh, you guys, this recipe we can find in the new cookbook, Trim Healthy Indulgence. If you guys haven't ordered it yet, you should get it. It's got a lot of really awesome recipes for um, taking to special occasions, birthdays, anniversaries, and so all kinds of fun things, and it walks you through how to make them step by step. So it's a great, great resource. If you are new here, be sure to hit uh, the like, subscribe, and the notification bell if you are watching from YouTube. All right, who do we have here this morning? Let's see. Good morning. I got to pop over here. Oh, my... Mm -mm. Uh-oh, what'd I do? Let's change this view here. Can we do it? Can we do it? Maybe? Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing this morning. That's okay. I do not see us. Are we live, you guys? I want to see. All right, so let's see. Venancia, Venancia, that is a beautiful name. Is that correct? I probably butchered it. I love you. <laughs> Cindy, good morning. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Sarah. Hello, ladies. How's it going today? All right. I don't know why my screen is so ultra tiny, but we'll make it work. That is so weird. I'm trying to make it big again. We'll see if this works. Doesn't like me today. Ah, I think I got it. Hey, Patty. How's it going? All right, you guys, uh, if you're gonna bake this along with me, you are going to need Trim Healthy Indulgence. And it's on page 97, so we're gonna be following along with this. I do wanna give you a quick tip. If you're like, Sarah, I don't have it yet, and it's my favorite cookie of all times, and I really wanna make it, all you need to do is grab the Becky's True to Taste chocolate chip cookie recipe. And I haven't personally done it, but many, many, many of you guys have subbed in uh, white chocolate chips as well as macadamia nuts and that with great success. So I'm just going to throw that one out there as a recommendation. You guys can always play around with recipes. I want to, I want you to, I want to encourage you guys to just have so much fun in the kitchen and thank God that we can be trim healthy mamas and still bake. Like this brings me so much joy and I hope it brings you joy too. Okay. Should we get started? Yeah, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to switch my camera so you guys can see my kitchen. All right, hello. And I hope my mouth is synced. Can you guys hear me? I hope so. I think you guys can. No one's complained yet. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning from Florida. I want to go to Florida again. Linda, we're in Florida. You guys, I, need, I should show you something. I have to say, I, I don't think you guys can see it, and I can't adjust my camera right now, but Terry, um, and let me, I don't know if I know your last name correctly. It's either Adamson or blank. Terry Addison, Adamson or blank. She recommended, you guys can't see it. I'll have to take a picture later, but our top of our vent on our uh, stove here, it gets, like the vent gets opened, and then all of this cold air comes in, and we literally get icicles. Anyway, she said that she gets this magnetic cover that goes over it to keep the air out. So we got one. So I just wanted to say a public thank you. That was so sweet of you to message me. So very cool. All right, you guys, this recipe is so easy. If you are making it, you can preheat your oven to 350. I want to do that too because I want to bake right, bake right along. Baking along with myself. Okay, I need some coffee. I probably don't. I do need coffee. All right, what's going on? Wisconsin. Ooh, Naples. Nice. 
I got, you got new headphones on? I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's do this. This is really easy, you guys. So, I'm trying to see what angle you guys can see. I feel like I've got all of my things. Can you see my little mixer? Yes, you can. Yay. Okay, we're going to start with butter. And you can just soften it. Actually, I'm going to throw it in the microwave. I started to soften it, but it looks like it's kind of sat there for a little bit. So, soften your butter. And then we're going to put our butter in and our gentle sweet. So, I already pre-measured everything. And you're welcome to do that as well if you're doing this along with me. Um, oh, jeez. I'm splattering butter everywhere. Butter in the microwave is like the worst. Okay, so we're going to put butter. And then we're going to put our gentle sweet. So this is our gentle sweet. Then we're just going to cream these together. to add, oh, you know what I forgot to grab is my eggs. I'm gonna have to run and grab them here. All right. I gotta grab my eggs. I totally forgot my eggs, you guys. Let's see if I have them right here. I can't remember what fridge I put them in. That's super helpful, right? I think the other one. Okay, hang with me, hang tight. something and then I am forgetting something goodness I have a lot going on this week it's been like so crazy I'm leaving on a trip tomorrow you guys and I am totally crazy I, I feel crazy and my husband travels a lot for work and sometimes he asks me if I want to go with him guess where I'm going I I'm actually nervous I'm actually nervous because he asked me to um, only pack one backpack and one carry-on just to keep things simple. We're going to be gone for two weeks. <sighs> and I kind of, it's going to be, it, I literally am going to have to be trim healthy pop in this, you guys, and like THM ninja my way through this trip. And I'm like, I just don't know what to expect. And you know when you guys don't know what to expect, it's kind of like, ooh. So any guesses to where I'm going that would like cause me anxiety? <laughs> I'd love to know where you think I'm going. Um, okay, so I did eggs, and now I'm going to add in the vanilla. Vanilla. And let's see, what else are we gonna do? Okay, looking good. Now we are going to, oh, and you guys, I am using, I am using uh, Kerrygold butter, which already has salt. So I just want to declare up front, I'm not going to add the salt, but if you're not using salted butter, make sure that you add the salt. So you're going to see me not add it. All right, now we need baking blend. No, we're going to do the almond flour. Okay, we're going to just dump in everything else. So we have almond flour, which this is the one I get from Costco. comes in this giant bag. I'm going to put that in. Then we are going to add our baking blend. There we go. Uh, then we are going to mix in our baking powder and baking soda. And I use the aluminum free from Trader Joe's. Put those in. All right, let's mix that together. Looking good. Okay, let's see, how's this going? You guys think you can hear me praise the lord okay and my lips are synced another praise the lord all right oh yeah that looks awesome 
once it comes together like dough, it's ready. It's ready. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. So, can you guys see this? Definitely awesome. And and don't tell the cookie dough police. I might have tasted some when I did the first batch, and it was good. So, if you don't mind raw eggs, I won't tell the cookie dough police if you won't. It'll be our secret. All right, so now we are going to mix in the white chocolate and our macadamia nuts. So I got some dry roasted, dry roasted macadamia nuts that were salted. That's another reason I'm also not adding salt. These ones are already salted. So if you got unsalted, you really should add the salt. And I already pre-chopped them. So I just used a chopper like this to chop them. Um, otherwise you can buy them chopped, but a lot of the times they're cheaper if you buy them whole and just do it yourself. So I'm gonna throw those in. And I like too that some of them are like big and some of them are like super fine. So you kind of get that macadamia nut throughout the entire cookie. And then I am using the white chocolate chips. You can use your favorite if it's Bake Believe or whatever brand you like. Just make sure it's on plan and sugar free. And so we're gonna put those in. And then we're just gonna take a spoon and mix this together. Move this out of the way. All right. Let's see if I can see your comments. Uh, you can use the one on my website. Let me see who's talking to me. Sometimes it doesn't show me your guys' names. Um, I love New York, Jackie. That is a good guess. But New York gets me really excited. And there's a lot of on-plan food there. And there, we've got some coaches in New York, and we got some Trimelty sisters in New York. I love New York. That's fun. But nope, it's not New York, but good guess. Somewhere else. Way more anxiety than New York. Way bigger. Way bigger. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Cheryl. Cheryl, it is um, uh, Becky's True to Taste chocolate chip cookies. You can sub in the white chips and the macadamia nuts. And just do the recipe the exact same and put these in. And that's it. And then bake them. So we're going to stir this in. I want to see what y'alls are seeing. Okay, can you guys see my cookie dough? Oh, I'm going to come back to this camera. I like when I show you guys things up close. Hello. Hello, friends. Okay, can you guys see this? So we're just going to mix this in. extra nerdy this morning. <sighs> okay, this is so pretty. I don't know, I like this cookie dough. So it says that it gives you 30 cookies, which I actually, if you make them about an inch big, I think it's true. I did taste the cookie dough though, and I got 28 cookies. So, just saying. Not sure if, uh, I made them slightly too big, but all right, that's it. Can you see that? It looks perfect. Okay, now, where is my sheet? So I am using my Epicure silicone liner. I love this thing, you guys. I use it all the time. I use it for hubby loving chicken. I use it for cookies. I use it, I use it for everything. I feel like every term healthy mama needs one of these because they're so easy to clean. So if you don't have one of these, definitely put parchment paper down. Um, if you can get one of these, I encourage you guys to. I put the link in the description if you guys are interested in it. And all you're going to do is take the cookie dough and make it about, that might be, is slightly too big. You have to make them, if you really want to get 30, this is about perfect. So about an inch, and then you're just gonna push them, put them across. We won't make all 30. I won't make you guys make 30 of these balls, but this is what you're gonna continue to do if you are making them with me. And then after you get, this is what I ended up doing, uh, six rows, do six rows of five. So I just wanna show you like one row. Let's 
see. All right, good morning. Let's see. So they have two different sizes of the silicone liner. This one, and I linked the bigger one, um, but please message me if you need the link for the smaller one because uh, you can, you know, like the half, so this is a uh, half sheet, a half sheet, cookie sheet. And then if you have the quarter sheets, they do have those. And I also, I do, oops, I wanna put this in five. There, ha ha, okay. So you'll do, this is, so this is a half sheet. Otherwise you'll have to do two of the, too big, I mean too big, two of the quarter sheets. All right, so can you guys see that? So we have them like this. Hold on, I'll show you it too, really quick, just so you can see. Um, a, this, is the, this is the little baby one. Isn't it cute? So you can see the difference. It's just, if you have two of these, which can be helpful if you're trying to like have a natural separation. I use them too. I use all of them, I really like them. All right, I'm letting my cookies slide. So once you get it like this, all you're gonna do, here's the thing with cookies like this, they will take on the shape that you cook them in. So you wanna make sure that you form them into the shape that you want. Otherwise, it will literally come out a ball. It's not gonna flatten, it's just not like traditional cookies. And so I just take the palm of my hand and just kind of push it down. And then they're going to be just adorable little round cookies. So that's it. So now I will fill my entire tray with all of them. And then it takes 10 minutes in the oven at 350. That's it. And they come out. Now, I did try them warm because I just wanted to give you guys my opinion. I didn't love them warm. Like it just didn't, it wasn't for me. But you guys, please try it that way. I encourage you guys to always try things and see if you like them. Um, but after they set and they cooled, they're like magical. And definitely um, uh, Esther recommends taking them to like a tea party or something fun like that. And I think that is a great, I think that's a great thing to do is like bring them to something special. I like them the next day better. You know how some Trim Healthy Mama treats are like just amazing the next day. I think these are amazing the next day. So I would encourage you guys to do that. Okay, let's see. I gotta pop over here and see who's saying hi. Um, yes, Cindy, you gotta make these. You made some. Oh, you made some for the cookie exchange. That's good. All right, the small one is cute, Denise. Esther, I love you, girl. I'm so glad you're here. I can't see everybody's comments again. That's okay. I'm working with it. Um, Caribbean. That would be really fun. I do love, if you guys know me, I love tropical. That would be really fun. Not the Caribbean, but I'm not going to the Caribbean. It's actually more scary than the Caribbean. Well, at least to me. Maybe not to you guys, but to me it is. Um, let's see. What else? What else? Okay, I think I got all your guys' comments. So, this is what they look like. You ready? So, you'll pull them out and then just let them sit and cool. And it doesn't take them very long to cool, okay? So, these were these are actually completely cooled. These are the ones from yesterday that did I did you, you guys see my did you see my story? I will show you because this is if you have a big family, you can relate to this so much. I love my family, I love my family. But sometimes I bake stuff so I can show it to you guys and they eat it, like seriously, they eat it. And I'm like, what did you do? You ate my project. Like they ate my homework, seriously. So I put a note on these cookies. Can you guys even, is that, is that backwards? It's probably backwards. It says, warning, warning. It says, eat me and you can make me a new batch by 9.30 a.m. on Thursday. And I put in asterisk. Will require a trip to the store for special ingredients. Guess what? No one ate my cookies, yay! <laughs> it worked. I have to do more things like that, oh goodness. I just sometimes think they won't touch it, but then they do. I gotta be thankful though, because they like Trim Healthy Mama stuff. So, these cookies are really good. I'm gonna show you guys the inside of them. You see this? These cookies are really good with coffee or you can make, do you guys like oolong tea? Oolong tea burns calories while you're drinking it, like 67 calories per cup. Did you guys know that? Get some of the Termalthy Mama brand oolong tea, it's delicious. 
make a big cup like this size. I put two tea bags in this size and then I add, I let it steep for five minutes and then I add two teaspoons of super sweet and it's so good. It is delicious. And excuse me, that's when it's uh, like when it's cold out, you can have it, you can have it hot. And then when it's warm out, just pour it over ice. That's it. Easy. All right. So let's look inside this cookie. It is the texture. Okay. I just want to, did you guys see how it's very soft? So that's what it looks like on the inside. That's it. Okay. So that's it. You guys easy peasy. Is that not the easiest thing ever? I hope you guys make those and I can't wait to see yours. Don't forget to tag me at Aurea Hope Health and let me know that you made these cookies because I cannot wait to see what yours looks like. And tell me what you think. If you are a white chocolate macadamia chip um, cookie lover, I'd love to know. <gasps> Who's going to Spain in a couple weeks? Hawaii? Oh my goodness. It was backwards. Yeah, sorry. This one camera is faced the wrong way. I don't know how to switch that one either. Cheryl, you're going to Spain? and Hawaii. Oh my goodness. Can I come with you? Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys where we're going. I'm going to bring you with me. If you come with me on my story, um, I'm going to bring you guys with me. And next week, I'm working on my video from Texas to show you guys the, everything that happened there. I've just been behind. So um, that's what next week I won't be with you guys live because I am going to be in Europe. I'm going to Europe. And it's crazy though. I've known for like only a couple weeks. And that's why I'm like, I'm crazy and I have not packed yet and I can only pack in two bags. And there's just like all these things I'm like, <sighs> my brain's exploding. So that's what I get to do today because we're literally leaving tomorrow afternoon. So you take like a, essentially, you take a night flight and you fly all night long. And then when you get there, you try to sleep like while you're on the plane. And then when you get there, you um, have to stay up for the rest of their day. So it's weird because it's like this transition and then you get to go to sleep. So I will be on like a seven hour time difference I think from you guys, but we're going to France and then we're going to London, which I'm really excited to go to London. And then we're going to a place in Norway and I don't know where we're going in France. I've been to Paris before. So we're going to somewhere other than Paris. It's not Paris. So come along with me because I honestly don't even know where I'm going because this is all my husband. He just asked me to go and I was originally going to say no. I was like, no, I have too much to do. And then I thought of my generation movers, my generation movers. And I was like, I am crazy to be like on my deathbed saying, I'm really glad I showed up for my appointments and didn't go to London. Like that's insane, right you guys? And so I was like, okay, what would a generation mover do? A generation mover would go to Europe, even if it feels ninja style. So if you want a ninja style with me, come along um, in my stories. I'm going to be sharing my trip and you can be nervous with me because I'm, I'm like, whoa. Anyways. All right. I love you guys. I think that's all I have for you. Oh, by the way, Terry, Terry Booty. Did I say your last name? Is it Bud or Booty? I'm not sure. You're probably laughing at me. It's okay. I get laughed at a lot. Um, this, this is for Terry. Terry, this one's for you, honey. I'm passing it through. I promised I would, so there you go. And for the rest of you girls, because I also love you, here's some cookies, okay? Enjoy one on me. I love you. And seriously, if you're ever in my area, let me know. I would love to have some cookies with you. It would be super, super fun. <sighs> All right, just to make sure I didn't miss anybody's questions. Ooh, England and Belgium and Italy. I love Italy. I've been to Italy. That was amazing. It was so fun. All right. Thank you, guys. I, so I will see you guys in a couple weeks. And uh, watch for the video next week. I'm just going to publish one. So be sure to look for it because there's going to be a cool video. So I love you. And if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. All the details are in the description if you missed it. Um, and I will see you guys again next time. And don't forget that if you are watching from YouTube to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell so that you don't miss any new videos. Okay guys, have an awesome day. We'll see ya, bye-bye.